Okay. It's sort of disappointing. It actually is pretty disappointing. But Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is pretty much dead at this point. Uh, though not... It's like... Far from a perfect game. It was a really fun game, and... It... I did recommend it. Pretty much everything I said in my review... I'll... Probably put a card, if I remember... To. But... What I said in my review... I, uh, I mean everything that I said. I stand by that. <clears throat> and I did stop playing this game, but because genuinely, and this is probably why the game's dead, but because I genuinely got bored. I mean... Think about it. Like, there are other people ripping this game apart, saying it's dead, which is stating facts, but then, like, they're saying it with a place of hate. This isn't with a place of hate, it's just a place of fact. Without hate. I mean, I really liked Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I, I don't think it was, like, as bad as other people look at it. It was a really fun game. The problem with it, though, is that after you beat the story, unlock all the costumes, like, all the color variants and everything. That, that, that took a little bit of time. After you do uh, all that stuff, and maybe a little bit more, can't really remember right now. There's really not much else to do. Like, I, I tried to do, like, multiple streams of it. Maybe I'll do another stream of it, but, like, it... Due to its current status now, I'm not quite sure. Like, it, it's a really unfortunate situation, but the game is long dead. Part of the reason is... With the absence of many characters, including the X-Men. And, like, I was like... When I first heard that the X-Men might not be back... Like, that wasn't a disappointment with the game. Because, like, the, even before the entire roster was leaked... When the game was leaked, it was leaked to not have any X-Men characters. So that didn't bother me that much. But I can see why it bothered other people. Because the absence of Wolverine, Magneto, Doctor Doom, Storm, they all felt odd in a Marvel versus Capcom game. Then we also had the absence of some other characters like Phoenix Wright, Arthur, we were missing Amaterasu, we were missing Beautiful Joe, even some Marvel characters like Iron Fist, and some Marvel characters that should have been in here to replace the X-Men characters, like, like Star-Lord should have been in it, and Ant-Man. I mean, Ant-Man was even leaked on the roster, which, like, it, he was leaked on the, like, full roster leak, which was correct with every single character except for Ant-Man. Yeah, this is really unfortunate that the game's dead. Frankly, because, like, there are better options out there. The there are better options out there. People are still playing games like Injustice or Tekken or even Street Fighter. This came out a few months before like Dragon Ball Fighter Z and the complete edition named Arcade Edition of Street Fighter Five. It's not really the best time to 
you know, release this game, especially with its, the reputation it had, and if it had any chance of redeeming itself, it should have been released at a different time. Frankly, it looks like Capcom has learned their lesson because this has happened with Street Fighter V, which did redeem itself, but that's because it didn't really release in uh, it didn't really release at a bad time. It released at quite a uh, good enough time, but this really didn't. I mean, it, it was also at the end of the year. This game where many companies were trying to get, uh, like, pretty much, you saw pretty much every single major company, major studio, trying to get a game in the last four months of the year. So having a, a game like this release, then, wasn't smart business. Street Fighter V bombed when it came out, but, you know, it still had faith. It still had hope. It wasn't, it did have the absence of many characters, but none as big as the X-Men in this game. It, like, it didn't have, like, Blanca or, uh, give me some others, Sagat. Or even Akuma. Akuma wasn't even in it. But it still had your iconic characters. Like your Ryu, your Ken, your Chun-Li, your Kami, and your M. Bison. Th those were all there. A and though not all of the Marvel vs. Capcom equivalent of those are the X-Men. Some of them are. In fact, I'd say the Ryu equivalent would probably be Wolverine. Like, you, whenever you'd see in a Marvel vs. Capcom game, you'd see, like, on the box art, you'll see, like, Wolverine and Ryu going face-to-face -face with a bunch of other stuff going on in the back. I don't know, I can't really describe it. It just seemed better. I I can't describe it. But I mean it's really unfortunate that this happened. I guess one other thing that like sort of ruined this and is probably the main reason. The whole games as a service thing. If you don't know, uh, which you probably should, if you're a video gamer right now, but if you don't know, games as a service is basically what games like Rainbow Six Siege and Final Fantasy XV are doing, where they keep getting constant updates. And expansions to make you not want to stop playing the game and so you can play the game as long as you want I feel like this is what the goal was for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite but it died because of it because no one was playing it and the reason why no one was playing it was because it was an unfinished game like I, I it's sort of too problems in one they should have t taken more of their time with this game i mean when it was announced back in uh at uh psx in 2016 i actually reacted to that live you can probably find my reaction to it somewhere on my channel i reacted to the entire event well at least most of the the entire event and then I also, uh, like, cut it out and made it, made my reaction to this game's reveal its own video. And I was pretty excited. I was pretty excited. And there are many leaks, so many leaks. 
you see, like, we got four characters when it was first announced. Four characters. That being, uh, who is it? It was Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Ryu, and X. That was good for the game's first announcement. We don't need, like, a boatload of characters to be revealed when the game is first announced. And then, like, a few weeks later, we got... Like, the two new characters, it was, like, Captain America and Morrigan. Nothing for the next, like, about six months. I'm not even kidding. In those six months, just leaks and leaks and leaks and leaks and leaks. And then we got some huge trailer with a bunch of new characters. And it revealed the release date. When we had, knew pretty much nothing else about the game. And we finally got a trailer. We also got a release date. When it looks like there was barely anything really done with the game. We got a release date. And then a little while later, there was a new leak by Rice. Rice, I didn't really touch on this yet, but Rice was the guy who leaked the game in the first place, like, the game's existence. He leaked pretty much everything about the game, and it ended up being true. He leaked that the roster would have really no X-Men characters, only one more female character... No, like, n n no Beautiful Joe, Phoenix Wright, Okami characters. None of that. He, he revealed that it was like 28 characters. And revealed, he, he included on the leak characters like Monster Hunter, who wasn't even in the initial roster, and Ant-Man, who never even made it in the game at all. So, it ended up being true. He he did leave out some characters, like... Zero and Mike Hagar were eventually revealed, and they weren't on that leak, but still. It was... You got pretty much everyone on that leak ended up being in it, plus a couple characters, and then minus Ant-Man. So yeah, it then the game came out. It was buggy and glitchy and stuff. It I wouldn't say the cutscenes were as like seemed as unpolished as Street Fighter V did at launch, but definitely bad. The graphics, as in, like, the visuals, weren't bad. Like, it was in good HD, but... Pretty sure it died so quickly that it's not even... They didn't even completely finish the game yet. And... Yeah, so that is the death of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. What do you think about it? Did you ever play Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? Did you get bored of it like how I did? I gave it a fair chance. I played it for a while. I eventually, inevitably, got bored of it. And so did many other people, which led to its demise, sadly. But, yeah. That's it for this video. Uh, do you want me to make more of these videos? I kind of wanted to turn this into its own series. The Death Of. But that's what I'm going to call it. I don't want to come up with a brand new name or anything. I'm just going to call it The Death Of. So yeah. If you like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.